All electronic devices we use every day, such as computers, TV sets, LED bulbs, alarms, calculators, in short, everything you can imagine, use at least one printed circuit board. Instead of using wires to connect electronic components, the PC board uses thin copper strips, also called tracks, attached to an insulating plate. In the first printed circuits ever made, the components were manually inserted and soldered one by one, which was costly. Very soon, the automatic wave soldering machine was invented, which had a metal container where the solder melts and, by means of a special pump, the molten solder is passed between two iron plates forming a kind of fountain of liquid solder for processing the printed circuit boards, also called PC boards. Before the PC boards are run over the soldering wave, they are placed on a special conveyor belt which has fasteners similar to metal fingers which carry the boards in the proper position for the application of some flux in order to clean the copper strips as well as the terminals of the electronic components so that the solder stays on. By using a porous cylinder, air bubbles are passed through the flux and the resulting foam is supplied to the PC boards. The metal fingers go on to carry the PC boards until they run over the solder wave. The components are then soldered to the copper tracks. Then, either manually or automatically, the PC boards are washed in a solvent to remove the flux. After this, the boards are ready to be inspected and packaged. The basic wave soldering machine has undergone some modifications but the principle remains practically the same. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Chavatarin.